morning. It's Friday morning. Uh, you can probably hear I've got fighting off a little bit of a cold this morning. Just a little bit of a scratchy throat and stuff in the nose. And you can hear it though. Up late last night doing a bunch of blogging. Got a bunch more to do today. Uh, stories are coming fast and furious. A little bit of what I covered yesterday was on uh, the oil spill, the British Petroleum oil spill, the water horizon rig that sank, that oil rig, or that oil uh, spill now, the slick is now just offshore in Louisiana, uh, Point Fourchon and uh, Venice, Louisiana, will be the first places to get hit sometime today. Um, that's sad thing. Um, interesting story out of Belgium. Kind of a, a weird thing going on there. They are looking to ban the wearing of burkas. In case for some reason you don't know, a burqa is the uh, all over body covering that women are required to wear in, you know, in some Muslim countries, required by some aspects of the, of the Muslim faith. Um, this goes beyond just covering the face with a veil or covering the hair. This covers the entire body. Um, it's almost like a sack with a small area left open so that they can see. They're very, very hot to wear in the, in the summer. But they're intended to not expose any of the female body to anyone. To be honest, I'm not sure 100% how I feel about the workers. Now, there are some security situations, for example, you know, somebody wearing a burqa, this is suddenly, uh, you know, they go into a bank. Identifying them will be virtually impossible. If there's any situation, you know, where, where you need to identify someone, it would be virtually impossible. Um, it's also, you know, very repressive to women. You know, this is basically, you are my property, you will not be exposed to anyone else. So, there are lots of reasons why, you know, women shouldn't be forced to wear a burqa. But I'm not sure that banning the burqa is the solution. That is a part of their faith. And at least here in the U.S., we do protect faith. That is a you know, protected First Amendment. So, kind of an odd situation there. I think as a whole, I probably am okay with the banning of the burqa. Because you're not banning their faith. You are banning mode of dress. Yeah, I, I, you know, I can think I could probably argue either way on this one. I think I would probably side with... Yeah, I don't know. See? I don't know about everything. It's one of those fence things. I... While I am not a person of faith myself, I do believe that we should protect the rights of people to Sorry, just got cut off. Apparently a limousine has decided he is more important than the rest of us, so he's just cutting people off left and right, trying to get across four lanes of traffic. Of course, what he doesn't know is he just got into the slowest lane. Good for him. Goodbye, mistress. Pain in the butt.
where was I? Oh, yeah. So, you know, I'm very much about protecting the the right to free speech, freedom of religion. And if you ban the burqa, you are infringing upon that particular religion, that particular um, sect. So, on those grounds, I don't know that I would allow, I would want to ban on it. But I can understand where the, the, you know, where the point comes from. Both on a civil rights issue, in, in that uh, this is, you know, controlling the woman, um, and on security issue. Let me know what you think about it. Are you, Keep in mind, this hasn't passed in Belgium yet. It's passed their House, but their Senate has not passed yet. Um, apparently, there was an issue last night where I think it's the Prime Minister has resigned. And because of that, it kind of broke up the government a little bit. And until that gets resolved, it's, it's you know, curious as to whether it's going to get signed. France is also looking at banning the burqas. It's, uh, that's one of those gray area issues that I'm not sure I, I quite decided on where I stand yet. I did. I'm vacillating. So if you've got a good argument either way, let me hear it. Uh, post it in the comments. I'm really interested to see where people think on this one. All right, well, uh, that's, uh, that's my rant for this morning. So happy Friday. Hopefully you have a good weekend. We'll talk to you later.